Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this is Garbage Horror Haunt Review 2017. Finally, we're doing an actual haunt review. It feels so good. It's cathartic. It's it's beautiful. <laughs> it's it's a, November. It's November. Oh, shut up. <laughs> well, okay, look, we already explained why we're right. late. So we might as well kick it off with the realization that this review for us goes all the way back to mid-September. We right. attended Mortuary on their opening night, effectively. Mm -hmm. And that is kind of our tradition with this haunt. Yes. Well, and it's it's really easy to choose which day to go because they're the earliest open. Yeah, they're earliest open. They're kind of the first haunt we're able to go to usually. And so we have this tradition where we get the emails from them and we get hyped up about the emails. Right. And then we go online and we find the best deals we can. We hook and by crook we find the cheapest deal we can. And we try to go there opening weekend and... Ellie, uh, who goes with us, usually donates blood, so she doesn't yep. have to pay for her ticket, but also all three of us get to go VIP, when a few haunts we regularly go VIP to. And so, yeah, that's kind of our tradition to it. So, how was it this year? Um, um, okay, before you start, I know this review is going to come back to price, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. Right. So let's start by focusing on the haunt itself, and I'd like to start off by talking about the actors. Okay. Um, and I thought this year the actors were, especially considering it was opening night. Right. The actors were on point and amazing. Yeah. Um, I so usually when we do these reviews, we come in here and we're like, well, you know, we went opening night. We're kind of jerks for doing that. The actors had the time to learn rules. Screw that. The actors were great. Yeah. Their timing was on point. Their ability to invade personal space but not make contact was breathtakingly not good. Touching you, not, not touching you. Not touching you. <laughs> They all in all did an amazing job as actors, and it really showed. I don't know how they got so good at their roles before opening night. There obviously was some coaching and some work involved, but I was very, very impressed. Well, and the, some of the people that we know who work there, mm -hmm. they were in uh, roles that they had been in before. That's true. So that would also help with the yeah, timing. And some familiarity with it, too, yeah. yes. But yeah, all in all, the acting was very, very solid. The mm -hmm. actors were definitely the highlight of this for me. I was blown away by how well they did, especially since we were the jerks, showing up opening night. <laughs> right. As for the haunt decoration itself, it was a bit all over the shop, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, there were parts of it that I thought were very well done, very well decorated. I mean, it is a haunted old mortuary. That yeah. helps with ambiance a lot. It's hard to mess it up. But sometimes they manage to, because they do. you can tell that they put a lot of work into these scenes, and then they make it so dark that you can't tell what's in there. Right. That basically you're like we're walking through like a library scene like we're in right now, but the lights are so dark you wouldn't even be able to tell it's a library. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to see the books. Yeah. And I get it, that is one of the challenges as old as time when working and designing a haunt is how do you make it dark enough to be dark and spooky, but also bright enough that you can see the detail and see the effort and the attention put into it. That's tough. Right. And I sympathize with that plight a little bit. Yeah. Now, one of the things that ties into darkness is that they were doing phobias this year. That was their big theme. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the phobias they focused on was darkness. Yeah. So there were long stretches of just dark. Yeah. Now, the phobia thing, that, that's interesting you raised that, because do you feel like that really was continued through the whole haunt? Like, when we walked in, there was immediately a little display on one side that had, like, spiders and snakes and other things we were supposed to be afraid of. Yeah. And then they had a whole sequence with a stage and an actor right. and, and a voiceover. It was a very convoluted thing yeah. that was supposed to touch on a bunch of your phobias. And I guess for me, it's a little bit of a problem because I don't have any phobias yeah. to speak of. I, I got over my fear of heights in middle school, and since then I've been kind of free and clear of phobias. It's kind of like how I don't have any allergies. Yeah. Um, so it, it didn't really hit any points with me. Yeah, it didn't hit any with me either. And there are a couple of things that I really don't like, and that you will see in haunted houses from time to time. Yeah. And no, I'm not telling you what they are. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so the design, I guess, could have been a little better, especially in the parts that were like super, super dark. Yeah. But the really frustrating part of it for me was that this haunt took about 13 minutes for us to go through. Yeah. And that's not an unreasonable amount of time. 
No. But the problem is, is that once again, we bought our tickets by hook and by crook, searching for the best deals we could get. Right. Those tickets cost us $25.50 each. Yeah. Normal, like normal tickets were $30 this year. And I remember the three of us, we, we left the mortuary, we hit the legs that were bottled by the photo op and we're walking out. And we all took turns saying in our own special way, <laughs> if it's this price next year, we can't and won't do it. Right. Exactly. Because, yeah, it, it's too much. Yeah. The, the dollar per minute is way out of whack. Way out of whack. And... And here's the thing, every year we've done reviews in the mortuary, and every year we've heard feedback from people saying, look, we get it, it's good, but it's too expensive. Yeah. People have said that, and look in comments of previous videos, it's a, it's a thing that's been repeated a few times, mm -hmm. and we've always said, no, 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 just do what we do. Look early in season, get the coupons, go open right. weekend or early in the process if you have to. There are good deals to be had. Yeah. Those deals are not as good. Now, I actually, since we buy our tickets online, I actually have with me the costs we have paid every year for the mortuary for our two tickets. Once again, two normal tickets, just as whatever good discounts we could get online at the beginning of the season. Um, in 2015, we paid $35 for the two of us. That's $17.50 yeah. per ticket. In 2016, we paid $41. In 2017, we paid $51. Yeah. The price of tickets for the mortuary have shot up 31.3% over the past three years alone. Yeah. That's a lot of money. It is. <laughs> and it's and the thing about it is, if there was something to justify that cost, if the haunted had gotten bigger, if it had gotten 31% better. But honestly, some of the previous years, I think, were stronger than this year. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. And they have no room to expand. Yeah. So there's no way that they can really improve on the size or anything. Yeah. Or offer a separate attraction to yeah. justify some of the costs. Yeah, this is as big and as long as it gets. And yeah. it's not that it's a super short haunt. Like I said, 13 minutes yeah, is it, not unreasonable. But No, I think it's always been about 13 to 15 minutes yeah, to go it, through. And it's been in that range. I think like some of the early years, they didn't use all the floors. Right. So it was like eight or nine minutes or something. Yeah. And yeah, I get it. That's a thing. They did expand then. But now they've used all their space. It's over. Mm -hmm. There's no bigger. No. No, I mean... And this is the most expensive haunt yeah. per minute that we went to. Yeah, absolutely. And, and to put in a little perspective, mm -hmm. $30 per ticket um, is, like I said, the asking price. $35 gets you two attractions at the 13th gate, yep. either of which is bigger and arguably as nice or nicer yeah. than, 13, than uh, Mortuary. And I think it might even get you all... Three at Rise. Yeah, it might. I mean, it's it's in the it's ballpark. It's close, yeah. It, and and the good the other comparison you can make is the House of Shock locally. Right. Was also thirty dollars per ticket, but they were also running at about twenty five to thirty minutes in length. Yeah. So they were about double the size. Right. And a comparable attraction locally in terms of size and um, in terms of size at the very least was Chamber of Horrors, which was fifteen dollars. From a value perspective, this isn't looking too good, guys. No. Yeah, I, I really don't know if we're going to go next year. I, I really don't either. I would like to go. I would like to maintain our tradition. But, man, this comes at a time of year where money is tight, and uh, it's, yeah. a, it's a tough sell. It is. It's a very tough sell. It's a very tough sell. So and we're going to think about it. We're going to consider it. I mean, but yeah, it's a tough, tough, tough sell. Mm -hmm. So all in all, I mean, it's a good, solid haunt overall. The acting especially was on point. Right. I'm, I did enjoy it. I heard from outside sources that their attendance was up this year. Mm -hmm. I'm glad they were successful. Well, that seems to be across the board. Yeah, it seems to be Every, across the board Everybody's is up this year. Yeah. So. I'm happy for their success, but for us, um, yeah. with our financial situation and the number of haunts we go to, it may not make sense in 2018. No. So think about it, give it some thought, and basically if you're looking for a value haunt, 
There are other options in the city. There are other options in the region, definitely. Yeah. Um, the best thing about it, like I said, the acting and the fact that it's in an old, actual haunted mortuary. And not an actual haunted, I get that. But it, uh, it is a yeah. spooky goddamn building. You can't deny that. It is. And, and they do have, they're on the ghost registry and, and all, of, all of that stuff. Yeah, we're, we're skeptics so. in that regard. But yeah. still, there's no Sorry. denying the spook <laughs> factor of it. Right. I will say this, though. Mortuary's escape rooms. Definitely awesome. Yes. I do want to throw that out because they are very much worth both the price and the time. Yes. They are great. But the Mortuary Haunted House, it's going to require some thought for us in 2018. Yeah. Is that about all we have for the Mortuary? I think so. So until next time, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this was Garbage Horror Haunt Review 2017 for the Mortuary Haunted House at themortuary.net. We will see you guys next time. I'm scared of pirates.